It's been a long way coming. We had the entire bracket, the entire doubles. It has been running smoothly. We didn't have any delays. Almost 3 o'clock Eastern Time. And finally, we're here in Grand Finals. And Envy choosing the Ike. Oh, yeah, yeah that would be a better idea. Didn't work the first time with Diddy. They fought earlier in Winners Finals. It didn't work out with Diddy. DVD, of course, is going to stick to his tune link. So we're going to try the Ike. Here comes the big man. Go ahead. No. Behind? Yeah, what's happening? That's happening soon, right? You know if we're going to have a break after after this to go? I am starving. All right. So, Days for Days versus Blue Eyes White Privilege. <laughs> I I, I it's such it. a good name. I it's can't help it. Name. It's funny. Oh, man. We're talking, we're talking about Zelda? Why are people talking about Zelda? No, no. We're going to have Ike and Toon Link versus... Uh, was it Double Sheik? Are you doing this again? I think they're doing Double Sheik. They're doing yeah. the Double Sheik again? Yeah. That's what got them the win in the... Um, yeah, the Double Sheik again. Yeah, Dark and Silver Hour are like really good teammates because like they, I think they think about the game in like such a similar manner. Right. So like they kind of know what each other are doing because they have a similar approaches a lot of the time. Very safe players, typically. They've had some disgusting doubles combo. Some, some handoffs, some tennis action going with these two earlier. And I'm sure they'll be able to do it again. We'll see if they switch to Ike and to Ness, actually. And DD going for the Ness instead of his two link. I didn't notice that earlier. They do draw first blood. And Ooh, second wow, yeah. again, just grabbing ledge, what matters most. Forcing yep. the Sheik player off stage. Quickly. So DVD has a Ness, he's not just a solo, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you know these player fairly well. Uh, I don't know uh, New York fairly well, I know Dark and Silver Alloy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm surprised I didn't expect, he's been playing tooling the entire, uh, entire tournament. Why wow, he tried to connect the back air afterwards but didn't need, Ike was there, ça fait mal, and Ike hits like a truck. He's just there to say stop. Oh dear lord. Hurts so hard. He's gonna punish, of course, two hits on the down smash. Forcing the Sheik on stage. She's so vulnerable when she's forced on. This is looking much better for the blue team as it did when they played in the winners' finals. But he is gonna be forced on stage after those needles. Still a lead. Only one stock now for the blue team. Okay, Ant, uh, who's a player from New York, says that DVD has a Ness for Switch. At least I believe Ant's from right, New right, York. Right, 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 right. Should be. So he had to prepare one. Well, at least he has, and it's working better for them. Can't grab Legend time. Sheik was there. Unfortunate for Mama. We don't. Nobody will ever understand how Ike's Sports Smash ever connects. It's the slowest thing. It should never hit, and yet, oh. Just, it's just a casual swing. He's just like, hey there. <laughs> it's like he's just waving hello. You don't expect him to slam you. The platform was there, the right place at the right time for the Ike player. And he lives and the, the throw to the Dacus. Not the Dacus, sorry, just the up smash. The platform helped, of course, in that regard. Still a stock up. But of course, if you kill your opponent, if you kill your own partner, it's not going to go nearly as well. The Sheik's still have a possibility, but the percent's not in their favor. Forward once. And yes, it does kill, and it kills again. Bringing it back in this first set. Six games to go, people. We could be there for a while. His Ike has proven solid, got solid kills. And uh, I like the switch to Ness too. Ness is able to combo Sheik fairly well. Overall, Sheik, they say, is a better matchup against Ness. Sheik, Sheik, Sheik wins it. But she does. she's at a weight where Ness doesn't have much problem comboing. So, 
can go double. Are they going to force away from the double sheet? So you know how to do this. You know how to run this whole stream. Ah, uh, yeah, I have, I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> Better than me. I don't know how to do everything, but I have, I have some experience. Better than me. Able to give uh, Ovis a little bit of a break. I could have used one myself. Give you guys somebody else to listen to. But we're going to finish it. Legend of Heroes. I don't know the song. I mean, so. neither do I, so. <laughs> going right back. Not choosing a different stage. Not a bad stage for Sheik, for Double Sheik by any means. Uh, it was just a little bit outplayed the first. I like the back air to keep his partner safe. Very weak hits on the back air. Um, Lots of forward airs going out. Well, it is Sheik after all. Remind yes. me again, uh, KDJ is dark, and Seiko yes. is the one who just died. Yes. Seiko is, uh, I mean, Seiko is uh, silver. silver. Yep. Mark of the Ike player to not to try and go in to help his opponents did not work, of course. Lots of tennis going on. That's what it's about. The throw to the smash. And yes, invincible back air is going to be an edge guard on Ike. Still struggles and manages to make it back. Ike, which has, in my opinion, some of the best uh, DI mix up throws in the game, and he can capitalize off of them. Something Sheik can't do as well as she used to do in melee. Her throws aren't nearly as powerful. Ike has been given that power now and making good use of it. Envy's playing solid. Everybody at three stocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That back air edge guard is going to work. The weak hit from the platform. Yep. Back to neutral. The tilt. Envy can't come and save his partner fast enough. Ooh. He still manages to make it back. A bit of, I don't want to say flops, but no, what's going on? One guy decided to fall, and the other said, I'm falling with you. Ooh, Forcing. Yep. Yep. Had yep. the right angle, but invincible uh, Nair from ledge will be able to net the red team another kill. He's running away with this. Five stocks to three. See some thunders. I like it. Thunder and Envy was there to capitalize straight with that back air for the kill. Presence of mind in teams, quick reactions. Let the green team pick off the one who cheek at a lower at lower stock. What they have to look for. The grab this time. Yes, the platform is still there for Sheik to come back, for Dark to come back. But he goes Chooses. for the lower one because I think they were expecting the platform. Still very risky. They both Sheik's almost grab ledge at the same time and trying to kill each other. Punish on the teleport, forcing the opponent on stage. And he's going to go back, of course. I thought Ness was going to have that kill. DVD almost had it. Ring brought it back. Dark and Silver has completely brought it back. Grabbing ledge at the right time. Looking strong. Lots of chaos at the ledge. This show. Nobody's dead off that exchange. I'm surprised. Everybody went flying. Thought we were going to see a net guard. The back air should kill. But Ness still has a full stock. Ike doesn't. 2v1 at 165%. Didn't go for the back throw, which probably would have killed. Shows the down smash instead. I have to question it. Throws are always risky when you're in doubles. Too easy to get punished. But if they land you the kill. And that's it. Grab ledge. Nobody grab ledge. Why? Oh, man. And he killed his partner instead. Not quite. Survive. <laughs> oh, now. Oh. Yeah. He's still alive. He has a platform to keep himself safe. And missing the forward to kill. He's at 112. Don't miss. Dark sitting at a comfortable 29%. Yeah, like I said, a Ness can combo the woman. He has to get the hit neutral, which is easier said than done. But the percent is slowly going up on Dark. And then they're crossing up on the shields. Presence of mind, pressure, and the back air. Sorry, the back throw DI mix up. Yeah, went for it twice and then he got red for it. Well, frankly, if you space it out well on the shield, going for double jump cancel back airs is doable repeatedly. You can get a shield grab on it. It was just a little too close. 
the machine. Just bringing it back. It's a difficult game. <laughs> Absolutely. 1-1 one, one in the set. I need to take a break. I'm starting to get dizzy. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind having another commentator for a while, too. But so close to the end. Don't want to leave yet. You gotta stick around for the conclusion. So I'm you, you don't ship the book off to the publisher before you finish writing it. <laughs> so the switch to Game & Watch from his nest. Mind you, his nest was doing very well. DVD should stick to his guns. Game & Watch, I don't know to what extent he's that much of a doubles character. He takes a lot of time to do his combos. When you're in singles, you have, in doubles, you have to shorten your combos so much. I don't know to what extent they'll be able to capitalize. I hope it works out for him. DVD and Envy choosing to go to Battlefield this time. Why is that? And Game and & Watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I Interesting also, choices. Also kills like a truck. Yeah. Save the partner, of course. Everybody's making it back. It's still with that Street Fighter mute. Trading blows everywhere. Nobody's getting anything started. I can't tell yet if the teams want to stay together, if they want to stay apart. It looks like the blue team wants to go just for 1v1s. Bad DI on that forward air from the Ike player. And just too far for Ether to connect. He's going to kill his own partner with a forward tilt by trying to hit Sheik instead. Just a little too close. Yeah, it looks like the Ike players wants to be separated, but the, the blue players want to be separated uh, to not hit each other. And I can understand that when you have somebody with such strong hitboxes as Ike, the last thing you want to do is hurt your partner. Yeah, you want a little bit of room. Up. Because you throw yep. something out and then you're just... Anywhere in the vicinity can be too close when you're Ike. <laughs> well said. Good DI on that throw from Dark. Unfortunately, he DI'd too far, wasn't able to make it back properly, afraid of the forward air. You have to DI out against Ike or else you're gonna get hit and that sword is too strong. And he's hit his partner quite a few times already. Of course, DVD still had means to come back, only to the feet of Sheik, and he's dead. Ça fait pas du bien, c'est méchant. The throw for the kill. He tried to be cute and do some Wall tech mix up off of quick draw. Envy went uh, a little, wanted a little too hard here. And he got punished for it by both sheets at the same time. And he can't get the punish on Silver. Who's gonna force him off? And Ether connects. The way I see it, there's always time for cool stuff as long as the cool stuff is safe. When it, That's the tricky part. Yeah, well, generally, the cool stuff is not safe. That's why it's cool. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the issue. Envy, uh, Envy and uh, DVD have been hitting each other a lot in this game as opposed to the last one. It was nearly as bad. The Nair will intercept and it is definitely looking rough for the blue team now. Four stocks to two. Four stocks to one make that back once. And yeah, the invincible yep. from ledge. Dark just looking to get a quick gimp to end it, but having a bit of trouble there. Uh, grab. We're going to be done here. We're going to go to game three. <laughs> he went deep to get that for that hit. No, I don't think Game & Watch is a bad matchup for Sheik. I don't think anybody says that. I haven't read, I haven't read anything you guys say. I haven't read everything you guys say. Yeah, yeah. Stick to your guns. Mamo. A Samus. Speaking of guns. He has Samus. one? Samus. Yes. Samus has one. I love this character. I think she's my favorite character, my favorite designed character in, in, uh, in all of PM. She has all the tools she needs. Strong in doubles too. Never dies. Hits like a truck. Against two Sheiks. No, he's going to want to stick to fire. Uh, ice mostly to pick off. Mostly for the um, for floaties. Making the decision. Where do you bring two sheiks? A Samus and a Toon Link. I wouldn't be surprised if they go to Fountain of Dreams, actually. No, they're choosing Pokemon Pokemon Stadium. Stadium. One, go. I don't know to what extent his Samus is potent. 
We're about to find out. Sitting back to try and get that charge shot a little bit. Samus is so floaty when she's in the air. Uh, it's going to be easy for her if her jumps aren't on point to get a lot of uh, aerials hit on her by two sheets at the same time. She's going to have to have some on point aerials. So far, she's doing very well. Silver using Wave Dash without a shield to punish the first match from, she from uh, Samus, which is no easy feat by any means. And then Eric to send all the way. And yeah, Silver decides I want to kill my partner now. Which I will. I mean, sometimes you gotta try the unorthodox things. Ooh, needles. Samus is gonna make it back very carefully. Screw attack. Always safe, safe on startup. Not safe on landing, but generally, the invincibility on the startup and screw attack often works. He's made it work so far. The Sheiks are going to have a field day. If she stays stuck in between them, down to not enough to kill. And he goes for the one that's a high percent. He wants her done. Yes. It goes. Two Link grabbing. I would have liked the charge shot instead. When you force the opponent on stage, you don't need to uh, extend yourself. You don't need to move. Ooh, he does nice. get a charge shot, but not on the right sheet to kill. Where's the opponent back on? I like the Envy's drop down and then fire to kind of give room to advance. Yeah, of course. That's what it's there for. Not very, not too missile happy. Not too missile happy, Samus. Which is not always easy to do with doubles, of course. And that slap! Now, of course, you see, this is what I don't like. I don't like where Dark is doing. He's staying in an edgeguard situation to try and let the to, to, to not let the Sheik player come back. I don't want to see that. Go and help out your partner. Samus takes forever to come back. That's a lot of time that you have to go and help out your partner and force a 2v1. Sure, Samus never dies, but it takes so long. Trying to barrage too close to his partner. Samus doesn't want to be close to her partner when she starts throwing out projectiles. Get killed by his own partner. You don't want that. And there once won't be enough. Sets up the projectiles. He's gonna grab. Force the opponent back on. Dunk! Killing off the top on that down air. See show. Even DVD looking to kill Dark there while uh, Silver was gone. Has to do it. Solid. Yeah, the DI mix up. Trying to be cute with the bomb. Drops down and gets a kill. Strong play by Silver. Doesn't spend any time on the ledge using the invincibility to connect his back air. Looking solid. Red team has a little bit of a lead, but I mean, Dark's percentage is very high, so that could change at any time. Down smash, I would have liked him to go for forward. Probably just didn't have the range or the start of time. Down smash was very well DI'd by uh, the machine player. Let's give him that. An unfortunate kill. Back once. Samus is in a bad situation, and Dark is still doing the same thing, still going for the edge guard rather than going to put the hurt on DVD. I guess he trusts Silver to be able to do it himself. Silver was getting some good stuff, but DVD uh, managed to prevent that by pulling out a bomb, and then that just interrupted what he was doing. Yeah, he wasn't been able to, though, if Dark was going there to put a 2v1 offense. Look, at the end it worked. He got the kill on Samus, but I would have liked it a bit more hurt. The two Sheiks worked so well together to get the kill. Even in stock with too much percent on DVD. He's fighting his time, waiting, but don't let your partner alone. Don't leave your partner alone. Blue team's gonna make it back. Samus won't. This could be it. This is. Ah, oh, man. Not like this. Not off of a miss, Tether. Man. Well, and that's it. Yep. Double chic, the cruelty. Of this, of this team, the simplicity of it all too, going for the kill, 